This video is brought to you by Ageless Geeks. Kelwabunga dudes and dudettes, this is Anthony, aka Batbomb82, and today I'll be doing a review of the Mezco 112 Collective Clown Prince of Crime Edition, The Joker. Now taking a look at the front, we can see that the figure showcased in your standard Mezco box, with the burgundy pinstripe motif and the Joker emblem at the center. Turning the box around, we can see multiple images of the figure showcased in multiple posing positions with his different interchangeable parts and accessories. So with the box out of the way, let's crack this figure open and see what we have inside. And here is the Joker out of the box. And man, this is actually really cool and I like it a lot more than I thought I was going to. He is a very unique Joker and I love the take that Mezco has done with this piece. Lots of cool things going on, and I cannot wait to check them out with you guys. But before we take a closer look at the figure, let's take a closer look at his accessories. So the Joker does come with a good amount of accessories. Starting off, he comes with two interchangeable head sculpts, bullet effect piece, a teddy bear, a submachine gun with two magazines, a cane, two knives, and seven interchangeable hands. And lastly, he also comes with a green and yellow circular base stand with ha 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 printed across the top. He also comes with a clear articulated arm that articulates at four points with a clip. So with the accessories out of the way, let's take a closer look at the Clown Prince of Crime Edition, The Joker. Alright guys, now let's take a closer look at The Joker. Now I love this version. Now I know it's a little different than a lot of people kind of... Um, are used to with the Joker, but I actually really dig it now. Uh, I feel like this is supposed to be, this is the Clown Prince of Crime Joker. Now I kind of feel like this is his earlier days, this is a younger Joker, um, when he's kind of just a punk thug on the streets kind of thing, and just rising in the ranks as the Joker. Uh, so I kind of dig that, and I really dig this whole thing, this looks awesome. So first and foremost, of course, we gotta check out those head sculpts. Uh, so the standard head sculpt looks incredible the smile is so maniacal and evil and sadistic it's so freaking good mezco does such great jobs with their comic book like uh, head sculpts and this is incredible with the shading around the eyes the hair looks fantastic i just love this with that wash in the hair all of that looks incredible we also do get a second head sculpt right here with more of a grin you know not showing his teeth and the hair all messed up, I think it looks awesome too. Uh, I kind of feel like that could be his first encounter with Batman, having a little fight with Batman and him getting a little jacked up. So he's not all smiles, but he's still, you know, that maniacal grin. It's, it's something that's very synonymous with the Joker. So very, very cool. Everything about this is just, for me, is beautiful. Now the tailoring, this is I've something, something, excuse me, something that I've talked about before, where the tailoring and the soft goods I feel like a lot of people don't don't give Mezco enough credit what they're doing with the soft goods because this is dope, man. The vest, the orange vest looks so well done. This almost like satin type of like purple undershirt looks really cool. We got those pinstripe pants that look awesome. Uh, we got the, the overalls, or the suspenders, excuse me, which is really nice around the stretchy plastic. Uh, you can actually pull those like over the uh, shoulders like this if you want. You can do something like that. And let me just pull these up over here, like that. And you know, you can have them over there if you want to, but of course they would actually go under the vest. And that's how you would properly wear them. But anyways, it's pretty cool that we even have that. And it just looks really cool, dude. I really dig this look. I wasn't feeling it all that much when I first saw our earlier images, but it kind of just grew on me and I actually really like it quite a bit. So the boots look awesome. Some curb stomping boots, I love those. Just a very nice tread on the feet, peg holes. The laces look really good on that. We got some holsters right here for his knives, which look really nice. A studded belt, like a very punk rock belt. Uh, same thing with the back of the gloves that he has on all his hands, 
with the silver studs and things like that all look very, very nice. In my opinion, this is a badass Joker and just having the idea of like a very younger Joker, you know what I mean, just again, rising in the ranks of the Gotham Underworld is really cool to me and I think they killed it with this piece. Okay, so we do got some accessories here. Uh, starting off, we of course do have the stand with the ha 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 on it. Uh, we've seen this particular stand uh, with the other Jokers, just done in yellow and green this time, so it's really cool. It's very bright and vibrant, I like that a lot. And of course we get the clear articulated arm that we get with all Mezco figures. And I've showed off the head sculpts, which are very nice, uh, but we also do get some interchangeable hands here. So we do get a pair of close-fisted hands, uh, those are the ones that come packaged in the box. We do get a pair of knife gripping hands, one for each side, it's really nice. Those are specifically for holding his knives. Uh, then we do get a trigger finger hand for his right side and a regular gripping hand for holding things like his cane uh, for his left side, Those so those work out very nice. Uh, then we do get one more open palm hand for his right side. So lots of interchangeable hands and they're all very well done and I do like those a bit. So we got the knives here as well. You see they just store those inside his belt and those are pretty cool, man. I love the way those are shaped. So you can hold them in his hand uh, like so. Can hold them like that, which is cool. Uh, I kind of like to hold them from like this, you know, kind of upside down from the bottom like that. Uh, that's kind of how I feel like he would hold them. That's, maybe that's just me. I don't know, but I think that works out pretty good and I think that looks awesome, dude. I really love these and these little blades can hold in. They're very tight. They're very thin plastic. So just be careful when you're putting them in and out of the hands. I feel like they might break. They don't feel brittle, but they do feel pretty flimsy. So just be very careful. And, and these little things, uh, holsters right here, can swivel. So you can move them out of the way uh, when you're articulating them, things like the legs and whatnot. Uh, we also do get his submachine gun, which is fantastic. Now, we've seen this gun before in the 112 line, uh, but not done like this. Just spray painted with purple and green, which is very freaking cool. Uh, and then we do get the removable magazine, or clip, or it's a magazine, I believe. Uh, well, you can see the bullet in there too, which is pretty cool. And you can plug that back in there like that. And then we actually do get a second magazine like so, so that's pretty awesome. We also do get a bullet effect. I love this particular bullet effect, it just looks really cool. We've seen this again before. Uh, you can actually plug that into the barrel of the gun like so. You want to be careful with the tip of that, but you can't get that in there to look like he's blasting off some rounds. So that's pretty dope, man. I love that quite a bit. I think it's awesome. One other thing we do get is his cane. I love this cane. Got the little skull on head on the top like that with the gold. Pretty simple and a little silver tip at the bottom. I actually have a do I have an actual cane like this with a skull on the top of the head. Uh, yeah, and this is pretty cool getting for that. And then you can actually hold this in his more standard gripping hand like so and it holds onto there very well so that is pretty awesome very cool accessory and I know something like that a lot of people are going to want and probably the coolest accessory there is this teddy bear look at this thing look how insanely cool disturbing and well done this is so we have a teddy bear the texture looks incredible one eye the paint apps look awesome we got a little tear right there to make it look like some of the stuffing is uh kind of coming out of them like so we got the clock on there looks really really nice it's about what uh 408 it looks like it's what time it is right there you know the dynamite strapped to it like that the wires more of the stuffing coming out He's held on to a little vest like that, so how it's strapped on. Looks like maybe some C4 packed in back there. I just think that is so freaking cool. And what a crazy accessory. It's, it's one solid sculpt, but man, that is beautiful, dude. That is a really gnarly accessory. And Mezco, you geniuses, stuff like this is what makes me love you. That is just a rad, rad accessory. All right, so now let's check out his articulation. So the neck itself is on a ball joint, it rolls around like so, does turn left and right, up and down like that, and pivot side to side. Arms can go all the way up, full 360 if you really wanted to, out that far, rotate at the bicep, let me see, uh, no, no rotate at the bicep. We do get a single bend at the elbow, uh, that looks about 90, maybe a little past 90, but I think that's about 90. It also does rotate at the elbow, rotation at the wrist, as well as a hinge at the wrist. Uh, the, the ab crunch 
it's in there doesn't really do a whole lot I mean you can swivel at the waist it rolls around a bit uh, ab crunch forward back just a tiny bit you can see it's barely moving anything uh, pivot side to side barely doing anything so you're mostly just gonna get left to right so it's a little disappointing but I, I, yeah I wish it was a little more and it is a double ball peg so uh, not a whole lot of movement in there we got hip joints that kick forward that much back about that far into the splits about that much rotation in that upper thigh double double joint and knees uh, rotation at the boot ankle joints are on ball pegs so those roll around rotate up and down and a decent ankle rocker so overall I think this guy's awesome uh, his artic articulation could be a little better you know uh, that doesn't bother me personally too much but I know not everyone uh, is okay with that kind of stuff you know I, I, I totally get it you know, I totally get it. It's just, for me, it doesn't bother me too much when it comes to Mezco. Uh, but still, if you want a really cool Joker, and I think this is a really fun piece. because It's very unique. It's one of those Joker toys that it's not like every other Joker that we get in, in when it comes to collecting. He's a very unique piece. I think he's incredibly well done. And I think he is definitely a must get. So for a quick size comparison, here he is standing next to a Marvel Legends Deadpool figure, as well as a DCUC Batman figure. And for your Mezco comparison, here he is standing next to the two other Mezco 112 Collective Joker figures from my collection. And just for fun, here he is standing next to Little Lego Bat Bomb. So there it is guys, my review of the Mezco 112 Collective Clown Prince of Crime Edition, The Joker. Now overall, this is a really rad piece and I'm super stoked and shocked that how much I actually really do enjoy it. The head sculpts are very maniacal and very well done. I love all the paint apps, his accessories are a ton of fun, and his soft goods are impeccable, and I genuinely appreciate what Mezco does with that. Now he does lack articulation, and I can see why that would piss a lot of people off, but for me, it's not a super big deal for a character like the Joker. Do I wish he was more articulated? Yes. Does it bug me? A little bit. But overall, he's still a completely badass toy, and I think you would absolutely love him for your collections. And if you're on Facebook, head over to my group, the Mezco 112 Collective Collectors for all kinds of Mezco goodness. So please comment, like, and subscribe. Stay nerdy, my friends. Peace.